The daddy longlegs has the strongest poison known to man. It cannot administer the poison, however, as it has no teeth. What is the point of that? I mean, you know, how unlucky. I mean, if you're an atheist like me, you, mean, you know, you think that that evolved and it's, it's still around and it works, whatever, and that's fine. But if you believe in God, he meant to do that. I mean, did it start off with that or did he punish it or something? Did he go, OK, right, uh, running out of stuff here. I've got a little bit of stringy shit here. Uh, <laughs> unless I've got a guy, I can't be bothered. It's, uh, but ours went, hold on, we can do something like this. There you go. Hold on, we can do it. There you go. You're a daddy long legs. I'm a what? <laughs> You're a daddy long legs. Oh, like, I'll get it, yeah. Brilliant. <laughs> Not the most attractive creature, am I? <laughs> well, but you can fly. Mm. Not really. <laughs> I sort of bounce along, like, <laughs> a couple of feet off the ground, bumping into stuff. If I, if I do find a window, I'm there for a good few hours, really. <laughs> it's not aviation as I'd wish, to be honest. <sighs> and these look very fragile. Are you, are you sure kids won't pull them off? <laughs> no, because I've given you the strongest poison known to man. Really? Brilliant. So if a kid comes near me, oh, he's dead. Well, use it wisely, they're only kids. Oh, he's dead. Oh, I'm going to take the teeth back. <laughs> Oh, oh, fucking hell, me and my big mouth. Oh. How am I going to eat? You don't need to eat, you only live a day. Oh. The other big campaign, the other big campaign, a dog is for life, not just for Christmas. Right behind that, I love animals, I'm really into animal welfare. And that's obviously aimed at parents whose kids go, can I have a puppy, can I have a puppy? No, can I have a puppy? Can I? And they give in to shut them up, and they get the puppy, and they like it when it's cute, then they grow up and they get bored with it and they lumber the parents with it and the parents get bored with it and they abandon it. 11,000 pets abandoned in England and Wales last year and I think kids should have pets. I think it teaches them life lessons. I haven't got children of my own but I've got loads of nieces and nephews and they've got kids of their own now and I want to be a cool uncle and give them what they want but I want to be a responsible one too and sort of not add to the stray problem but I think I've solved the dilemma. This is what I do, okay, as a tip. You've got to wait till Christmas Eve go to an animal shelter or an animal rescue home, not a breeder, and I go there and I go straight to the veterinary bit and when they're dealing with like the little runts that are born all sick and they're just putting them down, they've got no quality of life, I go, no, d don't kill that one, I'll take that one. And they go, it's only going to live a day. <laughs> so I run home with it going, don't die yet, get a Starbucks, a little bit of Starbucks. Don't die yet, don't die. And I run in, and I call my niece, she runs over, I go, look, go, oh, you got me a puppy, I go, your best uncle got you a puppy, oh, thanks, go and play with it, quick, go and play with it. <laughs> and they take it to bed, Christmas Eve, and they sleep with it, and they wake up Christmas Day, it's cold, dead, stiff, gone, so, <laughs> not a problem. Um, and they always come down, and they say, oh, oh, my puppy's dead. And I go, what, the puppy your uncle got you? He did his bit, and whatever happened after that isn't his problem. And they go, yeah, and I go, oh, no, maybe you rolled over on it on the night. Oh, did I? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> and they always go, I killed my puppy. I killed my puppy. I go, no, no, you didn't kill your puppy. Jesus killed your puppy. <laughs> on his birthday, because you didn't spend enough on your uncle's Christmas present. So, <laughs> they usually buck their ideas up the next year. Um... Stroking a spider can cause it to go bald. <laughs> what sort of nutter strokes spiders? And is that a problem in the arachnid world? Premature, I would have thought... Do, do you know what I mean? You touch a spider, it goes back to the nest, and they go, all right, what... <laughs> Why have you got a baseball cap on? Fashion. <laughs> take it, no, take... You've been letting a human touch her. Oh. <laughs> a friend of mine, um, she's a, a, a nursery manager. And when, it, part of her training, she had to do um, uh, lots of little placements for one day, and she went to a sort of geriatric home. And she was sitting in on this meeting, and uh, this middle-aged woman... <laughs> <laughs> middle woman brought in her dad. She was about 50 and he was about 85. And uh, so she's sitting on this, like, just going, oh, God, this is incredible. And the woman said, um, quite sad, really. She said, this is not funny. Um, <laughs> she went, oh, this is my father. He's, uh, 
um, he walks around uh, naked, and, it's, and we'd like him to come and live here now because it's getting a bit of a problem because I've got you know teenage uh, children. And my, my daughter walked in on him um, earlier in the week, and he likes to fry up bacon and rub it on his genitals so the dog licks them. <laughs> and this the, the the bloke in charge said, "Is this true?" And he went. If she says so. If she says so. <laughs> I mean, you're lo that's it, you're done, aren't you? Little sweet old man. But the first thing I thought of when she told me that, I said, why did he cook it first? <laughs> what sort of fussy dog <laughs> is that? So he got to my, oh, well, they're out, right, there you go. There you go, look at the dog going, what? Look it. No. What do you mean, no? I'm licking your balls. You lick yours. Can you lick yours? No. Well, then, cook it. <laughs> OK. It's... All right? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Streaky. <laughs> of course it is. I'm 85. Right. <laughs> no. <laughs> Just before we leave Bestiality, I do want to uh, point out one thing. That, that, um, obviously, I've never been a fan. I'm sure you never have. Uh, but there's one thing that sort of got under the radar of what's acceptable. The mermaid. Why is that OK? Why is this a... Uh, do you know what I mean? The erotic siren uh, beguiles men. Uh, she's half fish. <laughs> that is bestiality, isn't it, if you, if you get off with a mermaid? Do you know what I mean? It, it, if there was a mermaid there, a lovely naked mermaid sitting on a rock, combing her hair with, like, fish bone, right? <laughs> and she wanted me, and I'm walking along, she went, hi, Ricky, I went, all right? She went, I love the office, I went, thanks very much. <laughs> well done on the BAFTA. Two. <laughs> Get it right, Scaly, if you're trying to impress me. I'd go, OK, let's have a look. Uh, good hair, like that, pretty face, yeah. They're good. Um, <laughs> do, 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 do. No! <laughs> what the fuck? It's a fish! It's a, isn't it? It's a half... I mean, don't get me wrong, of all the fishy-type things in the sea, she's the best. I mean, the breasts alone take her ahead of the turbot, the mackerel. I'm not... <laughs> you know. But uh, I'm not just going to shag her for the halibut. Sorry. Um, <laughs> We'll cut that. We'll cut that. We'll cut that. <laughs> Forget. OK. Um. Oh, dear. But uh, now all I'm thinking of is fish puns. <laughs> do you do that? Well, I don't think of any. Right. Um, no, what I'd do is I'd go, uh, um, yeah, like, like that, right? But I, I, I'd still say no, because she's a fish monster. You know I mean? And if I had to, if I, if I had to sleep with a fish woman combo, I mean... <laughs> That's the way round I'd do it. <laughs> but, I mean, do you know what I mean? I said that to a friend of mine who isn't a little mental kid from Reading, OK? He's a commission editor at E4, right? I was having a conversation with him. I said, that's the way round I'd do it. He went, I wouldn't. I went, what? <laughs> he went, I'd have it the other way. I went, you'd rather shag a big fish head <laughs> with legs? <laughs> and he went, yes. I went, what are you talking? There's other things you could do with a mermaid. And he was getting so stressed out, he went, oh, what are you going to do, Gervais? Fucking make her laugh. 